In physics, space-time is any mathematical model that combines space and time into a single interwoven continuum. Since 300 BCE, the space-time of our universe has historically been interpreted from a Euclidean space perspective, which regards space as consisting of three dimensions, and time as consisting of one dimension, the fourth dimension. By combining space and time into a single manifold called Minkowski space in 1908, physicists have significantly simplified a large number of physical theories, as well as described in a more uniform way the workings of the universe at both the supergalactic and subatomic levels. In non-relativistic classical mechanics, the use of Euclidean space instead of space-time is appropriate, because time is treated as universal with a constant rate of passage that is independent of the state of motion of an observer. In relativistic contexts, time cannot be separated from the three dimensions of space, because the observed rate at which time passes for an object depends on the object's velocity relative to the observer and also on the strength of gravitational fields, which can slow the passage of time for an object as seen by an observer outside the field. In cosmology, the concept of space-time combines space and time to a single abstract universe. Mathematically it is a manifold whose points correspond to physical events. In a local coordinate system whose domain is an open set of the space-time manifold, three space-like coordinates and one time-like coordinate typically emerge. Dimensions are independent components of a coordinate grid needed to locate a point in a certain defined space. For example, on the globe the latitude and longitude are two independent coordinates which together uniquely determine a location. In space-time, a coordinate grid that spans the three plus one dimensions locates events, rather than just points in space, that is, time is added as another dimension to the coordinate grid. This way the coordinates specify where and when events occur. However, the unified nature of space-time and the freedom of coordinate choice it allows, imply that to express the temporal coordinate in one coordinate system requires both temporal and spatial coordinates in another coordinate system. Unlike in normal spatial coordinates, there are still restrictions for how measurements can be made spatially and temporally. These restrictions correspond roughly to a particular mathematical model which differs from Euclidean space in its manifest symmetry. Until the beginning of the 20th century, time was believed to be independent of motion, progressing at a fixed rate in all reference frames. However, following its prediction by special relativity, later experiments confirmed that time slows at higher speeds of the reference frame relative to another reference frame. Such slowing, called time dilation, is explained in special relativity theory. Many experiments have confirmed time dilation, such as the relativistic decay of muons from cosmic ray showers and the slowing of atomic clocks aboard a space shuttle relative to synchronized earthbound inertial clocks. The duration of time can therefore vary according to events and reference frames. When dimensions are understood as mere components of the grid system, Rather than physical attributes of space, it is easy to understand the alternate dimensional views as being simply the result of coordinate transformations. The term space-time has taken on a generalized meaning beyond treating space-time events with the normal 3 plus 1 dimensions. It is really the combination of space and time. Other proposed space-time theories include additional dimensions, normally spatial but there exist some speculative theories that include additional temporal dimensions and even some that include dimensions that are neither temporal nor spatial. How many dimensions are needed to describe the universe is still an open question. Speculative theories such as string theory predict 10 or 26 dimensions, but the existence of more than four dimensions would only appear to make a difference at the subatomic level.